Hi, my name is Jacob, and I'm going to show you how to power cycle your modem and router. If you're having connection problems, doing a power cycle is a good place to start. Slow connection speeds can happen when your modem and router need a reboot, or when there are background processes running on your device that are bogging down your connection, or a combination of both. But no worries, I'll take you through the process step by step right now. To get the best result from a power cycle, pull the power cord from the back of your modem first. This cable is easy to identify since it's generally the thinnest cable going into the modem. Once pulled, the lights on the modem will go completely out. Now leave the modem unplugged while you repeat the step with the router. Remember the key here is to have the power completely removed from the modem and the router for at least one full minute. After one full minute, go ahead and return the power to your network devices. The modem and the router will need a few minutes to come back online. Cutting the power to the modem for a full minute and then plugging it back in forces the modem to renegotiate with both the outside network and your internal network, so this takes a bit of time. If you don't see an improvement in your connection once the modem and router are back up and running, it's time to do a factory reset. It's important to note that the cable modems can be factory reset with no change to the configuration. Cable modems will be back up online once the reset is complete. However, all routers and DSL modems need to be reconfigured after a factory reset before the internet connection will be restored. If you have any doubt about your connection type or need help telling the difference between your modem and your router, please contact our support team. Getting this wrong can lead to a very frustrating experience. Most modems and routers will have a very small reset hole somewhere on the device. The position of the reset will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, and in some cases, there's no re reset at all. Again, give our support team a call if you're unsure during this step. You'll need something with a tiny point, like a straightened paperclip, toothpick, or a safety pin to reset most devices. We even had success with a customer using the back of an earring. We strongly recommend you don't use a pencil for this step. Press in on the reset button. You want to do this while the power is still connected to the device. Generally speaking, hold the reset somewhere between 5 and 15 seconds. Now repeat the reset process on your router, and that's it. If you're still having connection problems, check to see what power adapter you're using on each device. Although the same adapter may fit in both your modem and router, they aren't the same, and mixing them up could cause connection problems. Remember, if you're having issues with your internet connection, don't hesitate to call us or visit start.ca to send us an email. Thank you for watching. Check out our other videos, subscribe, and keep up with the latest from start.ca.